A record number of hospitalizations. Welcome to ENN Now. I'm Macy Elder. And I'm Kenzie Watson. According to the Oklahoman, Oklahoma City is out of intensive care beds due to the virus. On Monday, the health department announced that 691 patients were hospitalized with confirmed cases of COVID-19. Another 69 patients are presumed positive for the virus. The state's tracking map shows 70 out of 77 counties in Oklahoma remain at the second highest risk level for transmission of the virus. Oklahoma City has extended its mask mandate until December. When and how will the pandemic end? For more on the latest predictions about the virus and vaccine, we turn to ENN's Julian Blendening. One of the major companies working on a vaccine hit pause on its studies. Johnson & Johnson said Monday that one of the study participants developed an unexplained illness. The company's statement said the illnesses are not uncommon in large studies like this. But according to the Associated Press, this is the second such hold to happen during large-scale final tests of COVID-19 vaccines in the U.S. If you ever wondered how a vaccine is developed, check out the Epic News Network for a story about the work that goes into creating a vaccine and the concerns related to a new vaccine. Thanks, Julian. Oklahoma Senator James Lankford said he was disappointed in the Democratic comments and questions during the opening of the Supreme Court nomination hearings. Senators are hearing from Amy Coney Barrett. The Associated Press reports the questions for Barrett range from health care to the legal precedent to the presidential election. Democrats are opposed to the nomination, which would lock in a conservative majority in court. But the Republicans are likely to approve the nomination. Closer to home, the first phase of Kickapoo Turnpike is now open. The new roadway will connect I-44 and the Will Rogers Turnpike with I-40. The Turnpike Authority says early projections for the Turnpike should show up to 10,000 cars a day. Turning now to the crime beat, police around Oklahoma need your help. ENN's Jensen McKee has more. Dallas City Police want your help with a homicide case. This is the person the police want to identify in a connection to the case. The incident happened earlier this month at the Wood Springs Suites on Tinker Diagonal. If you know anything about the shooting, call Dell City Police. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation says they need help solving a cold case. Keith Butterick's would have turned 54 this year. He went missing in 2009. If you know anything about his disappearance, contact the OSBI. Thanks, Jensen. Our school, Epic Charter Schools, which sponsors ENN, is back in the news. The State Board of Education voted to require Epic to repay more than $11 million for spending too much on administration over the past five years. The amount is based on the state auditor's report. Epic says it is still waiting to see how the auditor calculated that number and said it is working with the Department of Education to resolve any issues. In the meantime, the Attorney General announced a special counsel will review the state audit report and state House members announced they will hold a hearing to review the audit as well. Epic is still involved in a legal battle to determine whether public funds paid to a private company remain public funds. Real fall weather is coming this week. For a look at what to expect, let's turn to ENN's Jackson Southhill. Hey y'all, it's Jackson Southhill. I'm going to be doing your weekly weather report. So Tuesday had a high of 82 and a low of 55. Um, I'm going to say this, we're not going to see a whole lot of rain. We're going to see a little bit of wind. And uh, throughout the week, the temperatures do you know, kind of cool down from day to day or so. Um, so today we have a high of 90, the hottest of the whole week, and the low of 55. Thursday, we have a high of 68 and a low of 40. Friday, we have a high of 67 and a low of 48. Um, Saturday, high of 77, low of 53. And Sunday, with the only day with a chance of rain, high of 65 and a low of 47. Um, you can kind of tell that it kind of cools off here and there. You know, for the most part, it stays in the 60s and 70s. On a lighter note, a college student in Idaho set a new world record with a homemade slip and slide. A mechanical engineering major and slipped down 100 meters of slide in over 10 seconds. Roper created the massive slide using trenches, Pinterest tarps, and a garden hose to create his slide. He was clocked at 32 miles per hour during his world record attempt. That's all the time we have now for this episode of ENN Now. Make sure to keep checking our website and social media pages for more news from our team of student journalists.